Hi, this is Kim from Art Equals Happy, and I am here with another Watch Me Work. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure, I posted one um, where I was painting the windows on the shop. And today I'm going to be carting some Rolex on a drum carter, and I thought some of you might be interested in that. Some of you who spin, or maybe want to get into spinning, would like to see how the Rolex are made. So here we go. Now the first little wheel, what it does is basically, all it's doing, all it's job basically is, is to brush up against the big wheel and to make sure that all the fibers align correctly. When I'm making my stripey Rolex, which I intended for self-striping yarn, I like to put through the fiber straight as they are in the tops and that gives you a more controlled stripe so you get less overlay of the colors. Obviously, I love blending the colors together when the stripes mix, but it just depends what you're going for, really. And with a self-striping yarn, you want the individual colors of the stripes to be very bold. I love seeing the fiber build up on the drum like this, from red all the way to purple. So every time I fill up the carter, I try and get four to six roll eggs. It totally depends on how thick I wind it up and how much of the fiber is coming off at the same time, but I try and get them as even as possible. Okay, so you can see that I finished putting everything, all the fiber on the carter now, and I'm taking it off with the doffer, and this is when you can really see how nice and fluffy the fiber is. Um, I'm using knitting needles to pull off the fiber from the drum carter. The downside of making roll eggs on a drum carter is that the drum carter turns. So I don't know if you noticed but before I wedged a little peg in the wheel. If there was another way to do this I would totally do it. <laughs> but this is the best sort of solution we came up so far. It's always so scary when I watch these back and I see how much the needles are bending. <laughs> I guess you gotta have some real muscles to make roll eggs, am I right? Once it's off and onto the knitting needles I squish them around and roll them on so that the fibers are really tight onto the needles um, and that makes the roll eggs really nice and tight and sturdy and more firm and less likely to fall apart in the shop because we do have a lot of that actually. We at the moment just uh, put a little piece of paper around the roll eggs to hold them in place with our label and all the info and stuff and a lot of people put them in plastic bags or little boxes or things like that which actually would be a really good idea because we get a lot of Rolex getting pulled apart by customers that don't know what they're doing which is fine totally fine but so here they are all done so all of those came off of one round of drum carding so while this little end screen is going um, you can watch me clean the carter a little bit I just wanted to say thank you for watching so much I really appreciate it YouTube is something that I really want to do more of um, so hopefully you will see more videos from me in the future and until then you can keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at Kim Smith Happy or you can check out what's going on in the shop at AU Shop UK. Okay guys have a good one I'll see you next time.